Welcome back. Joining me now to talk about their new shopping experience is Kevin Foster. He is the CEO of the Axe Foundation and Mint Thrift and Miranda Moore, who's part of the Life Bridge Community Church staff. So thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah. I uh, used to live in San Francisco, and so I went thrifting a lot. So right. I'm excited for Mint Thrift. This is another one of your guys' projects to sort of impact the That's community. Right. Yeah. Tell us about Mint Thrift. Absolutely, Emily, and thanks again for having us on. Yeah. So Mint Thrift, the whole idea is that we want to start Mint Thrift to help become a, a funding stream for the grocery giveaway that we're doing in the community. Okay. Over the pandemic, we've been able to feed just over 50,000 people, and so yes. we wanted a way to make that sustainable. And yeah. so mm -hmm. that's when the idea of Mint Thrift came to be. And uh, it's excited because we just started this past weekend and it's going great so far. So. What was the response? So you had your grand opening. What was the response? What are people saying? Um, I, you know, it kind of creates a good problem because it was way more than what we thought. So, <laughs> um, uh, you know, apparently there's, there's a pent up demand for an, another thrift store in yeah. town. Uh, about 200 people each day like came lot. through mm -hmm. and uh, I think people loved it. So the idea is that, yes, we are a thrift store, uh -huh. but we wanted people, Emily, to shop with dignity. Yes. So it doesn't look like a thrift store. It actually looks a little bit more, and this is what a lot of thrifters are telling us, looks a little bit more like a high-end boutique. Right. Yes, and so this is sort of the thing because that's like the culture in San Francisco. <laughs> it's right. just like boutique -y, you know, nothing goes right. to waste. And so right. you see a lot of that there, mm -hmm. but I ha the trend hasn't, you know, caught on quite yet in the Central Valley, but you right. guys are doing it, and yeah. you're actually wearing an entire outfit yes. from Mint Thrift. So, so you went outfit. shopping for this outfit. I did. I went shopping for this outfit. Whole thing cost me under $25. Oh, good. Right? So that's kind of unheard of for a complete outfit. Um, and with the rise of inflation uh, affecting just about everyone yeah. everywhere, that's kind of uh, hard to beat. So I'm a savvy shopper. So if you like a good deal, you know, stop by Mint Thrift. Absolutely. Uh, Can you stand up? I want yeah. people to check it out. <laughs> so, okay, so the flares, the flares the are all the rage right now. Yeah. Losing my microphone. So the flares are cool. all the rage right now, and I cannot find them anywhere. <laughs> like, it's really hard to find. So, okay, yeah. Mint Thrift. Mint they thrift. have gently used clothing and things that are really trendy so you're not going to get right you know right. the, the 2000s themselves. fashion yeah. although these are yeah. <laughs> they're from thousands. anthropology oh my god and if you shop at anthropology you know it could be a little pricey yeah there. um and there's brand new with tags so where are you guys? Where are you guys located? We are on the corner of Shaw and Marty, right behind the Chili's there. So it's a great location. It's a brand new building, uh, 5,000 square feet of oh, wow. retail space. That's big. So there's a lot of space, not just clothing, but we also have furniture, furniture. household good items, a huge kids section, because as a parent of a child, like they go through clothes like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and so that was our vision to have that. So furniture, really any, anything. We also accept donations too. Okay. That are in gently used condition so that we can not only only just provide an option for people uh, to help them because like Miranda said inflation is raging right yeah. now. Uh, thrift shopping is a way to beat inflation. That that was going to be my next question. Yeah. So you've got clothes, you've yeah. got the the house goods and you've mm -hmm. got toys and a section for the kiddos. Yes. Mm -hmm. How right. about if people have things that they want to donate? What does that process look like? Yeah, so they can drop off anytime uh, during our open hours which is from Tuesday through Saturday 11 to 5 p.m. and we also accept furniture too. So okay. we're able to really help people. Right now, I don't know if people can spend, some people can't spend $3,000 on the couch. No. But they can come to our thrift store, pick a really nice one up for maybe $200. Yeah, and that, yeah. you know, sometimes... My mom never sits. She doesn't <laughs> let us sit on her couches. Right. So the ones that she donates yes. are, are in great condition. Absolutely. And I am going to check it out there because I, yeah. I love a good deal. I right. love um, vintage finds. And I like mm -hmm. things that, you yeah. know, we can give them a second chance. And yeah. we don't always have to do fast fashion. Exactly. So this is, this is great for that. Yeah. And this, uh, we want to make this point. All the yes. money is going towards your food drives. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Axe Foundation, which helps us to feed hungry people. We also make deliveries to senior citizens that can't get out of their homes about a hundred twice per month. And oh, wow. So, and then us also we're going to do other compassion works in the community okay. like a jobs training center one day uh, and have a place where we can have a place for services for families with special needs. And so mm -hmm. our idea is that one day this will be one of the funding streams right. to help fund what we're going to call a compassion center one day. Well, this is such a creative <laughs> idea to raise money and yeah. not you're yeah. just you're hitting so many birds with one stone. You're giving 
giving people a yeah. place to get a deal. You're also funding all of these different avenues that, where you're making an impact in the community. Right. I know that you guys are creative. I can't wait to, to see what you do next yeah. Yeah. in the community. Thank you guys so yeah. much for being here today. You, we have all the information about Mint Thrift on our website. Thank you so much. Coming up here, we get you updated with your skincare routine. Some cheap and simple products you didn't know you needed. We'll be right back.